Okay, so here's an update from uh, Dr. Perry's butterflies. So the ones from the previous video, which were tortoiseshell caterpillars, they pupated, which I think I sh showed you in the last video, and now they've started to emerge. There's one up there, there's empty, a few empty pupae cases, and there's one, two tortoiseshell butterflies now. We let four go yesterday, so these are the last two. And you can see the red stain on the cloth down there. That is uh, the meconium that comes out of the pupa, the fluid that's released when they emerge. And when they emerge, they need a little time, a couple of hours for their wings to dry out before they can fly Ooh. away. So we're going to let them go in a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Not yet. Please. There he is. Don't come out, <laughs> and so the caterpillars that we've got on the uh, nettles now are the peacock caterpillars, which in the last video were very small, but now they're huge because they've been eating ravenously. I put some more nettles in yesterday, and they've been devouring those. And so I expect that they will pupate in a in a week or so. And then I think we're going to have lots of peacock butterflies because these caterpillars have been very successful and survived very well. It looks like I've got about 20. So I have high hopes for lots of peacock butterflies, which are <laughs> even bigger and, in my opinion, more beautiful than the tortoise shell, which is there. So we're going to let those go now. Evie, do you want to reach in and. Oh, oh one's one, gone. One's gone. Can you reach in and grab them? Yeah. Mind the nettles? Can you please? Let's have a look. That's it. Let's see if we can get a shot of them on your mm. hand. Come here, please. Good girl. Come here. Oh, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>